So here we are at EasyWeb, and I'm just gonna sign into the platform. Um, and as soon as you uh, get a login, you'll be able to sign into the platform. Um, but what I wanna share with you is essentially uh, how you can first do a live webinar. Now, if it's, this is your first time, you're gonna automatically add an event, okay? That's kind of like the first thing you're going to do. And Easy Webinar builds all the pages for you. So they build the registration page, the thank you page, the event page, replay page, event notifications. We have event integrations with some of the top autoresponders. And then you have advanced options, which allow you to add like things like Facebook pixels, Google Analytics, uh, and various other things that help to track uh, what's going on in your webinars themselves. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna notice that I'm in the event type schedule, type and schedule, and this is really where uh, all the magic happens. Um, you know, when you go into these pages, you'll be able to build out your registration page and thank you page and event page and replay page, etc. But as I said, all the magic really happens here as to what your webinar is going to be about. So we're gonna run this as a live webinar, and I'm gonna call this KC demo. I'm going to stream it in my own time zone as a one-time event. Okay. Remember I said things can be one time or recurring. This is going to be a one-time live event. So I'm going to stream it um, Thursday. I'm going to stream it at, it says 10 PM because it automatically finds it. I'll stream it at 10 PM and I'm going to put a tentative end date at 11 PM. Now just be aware that if you go over 11 PM, it's fine. You're just putting kind of um, an idea of what you anticipate the end of your stream will be, okay? Now, remember I always said you can have yesterday's replay shown or, or you can show a replay directly on the registration page? Well, this functionality does that. It actually will allow you to add the replay and a future live event or automated event, so it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna actually keep that off. I don't need a replay. Um, and I'm going to allow registration for ongoing events because obviously it's a one-time event. I want people to, after the event starts, to still be able to register for the webinar. That's what that toggle means. Um, you could turn that toggle off, but, but chances are the time that that toggle would be turned off is for automated recurring webinars. Right now, it should probably be on if you're doing a one-time event um, and you know, with and if someone comes late, they're still coming into the webinar. Now, there might be scenarios where you don't want to allow people to uh, come into the event after the event has started, okay? And you have to decide what that means for you, right? Decide when to allow that. What that simply means is that you stop allowing people to register when the event starts, right? And maybe you're like, hey, listen, we're we're going to put a cap on this. If you if you you can't register after the webinar starts, you know, and that, that might be something you want to do. So anyway, I'm going to use this. I'm going to set this for, up as uh, at the, at this time. I'm going to click save and publish. Now the cool thing is, I just did literally three things, right? And it created pretty much like a basic <laughs> button right here. Now, I could build this, of course, this webinar out a lot deeper and make it really robust, but at the, this point, I just wanted to use it as an example. So what I'm going to do now um, as, uh, as the admin is I'm going to decide to go live, okay? Now, this is where it gets really cool. You have two options, as I already mentioned. You can use Easy Webinars, Beta, uh, and b based on when you're watching this video, it's in beta. It might not be when by the time you watch this video, but you can use our live engine, right? Or you can use YouTube. As I said, if 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 when you see this video, YouTube might still be there, and if it is, that means you can still stream to YouTube for events that have more than a thousand attendees. We will be giving the ability to have more than a thousand attendees using our live engine as well. It just going to be in packages that you'll have to call in and those are going to be on an enterprise level, okay? But if you are someone who has a thriving community and you don't want to spend Boku bucks on, you know, doing an event with more than a thousand people, then YouTube Live is going to be an awesome solution from here. But today we're going to go and use our our uh, our live engine. So here I am right here. Hello, I'm, I'm down here, actually right here. Um, and I'm actually, I have, I'm going to, it automatically pulls in 
my camera and pulls in my microphone. Now, it can also find different microphones that are working. And you can also test your speakers. There we go. And it can also find different cameras that you may have. So right now it's just finding this camera, which is fine because I can always change my camera when I enter the event. So I'm gonna go live. It's gonna tell me what session do I want. And again, this is the session that I have for it. I'm gonna go live now. It's configuring the live room. It's bringing me into the live room in five, four, three, two, one. And now I'm in the live room as the admin. This is me as the admin. No one is in here yet, right? But if I were to send you out this registration button right here, you could actually attend the webinar. So now if I, let me sell Frank, at umbrella at gmail.com and I register for the webinar, it will bypass and take me directly into the event where me as Frank is watching Casey on the webinar, essentially, right? So now I'm now listening, I'm listening to Casey inside, Casey there, inside there and that's why you can kind of hear that hear reverb that because, because I'm listening, I'm to, listening myself speak, to myself speak and, and, that, and it's just and too it's meta, just so too I'm gonna cancel myself out. But this is what it looks like as the admin. Now, this is where Easy Webinar is really cool because you can use it for meetings. You can use it like it's Zoom and, uh, and also go to webinars. So you can copy this link and send it off to anyone that you want access to uh, come into the room right away. So this is what it would kind of look like right here. Register here to join the event, right? And you click join and you would then be brought into the event itself and you could give this out to anyone. So, you know, if you want to bring in your sales team or something like that, that's when this works. Now, a couple other things you can toggle over here and you can see uh, that you have your camera source and you have different mic options. So, you know, if you are someone like me who has like 50,000 mics, um, <laughs> you know, you can choose which one is going to work for you. Now I can also, as I said, have my camera on. There I am right there, right? I can also share my screen. So let's say I wanted to share um, my screen. This is what it would look like right here. Just let me close that out and share. And there you go. And you can see that it's a really clear screen. It's really clear, concise, looks really, really good. Um, so this is how it works. Now, a couple other things that you should know you can see your participants when they arrive. So actually I'm going to go in and I'm gonna join as this Casey right here so that you can see um, that this Casey just joined. So that is this guy right here. He's coming in, coming in and there he and is right there now. Right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually turn my mic off while I'm making this video inside of Easy Webinar because we're running it and this is a rec recording, so I don't actually have to have my mic on. But for the sake of this, I'm turning it off. Um, and now this is me, but this is the attendee. Now the cool thing is this attendee is over here and he's watching, uh, but what I can do from this side of it is I can make this attendee a presenter. So I can click Make Presenter and then this person who is an attendee gets this shown. So now it says, hooray, Casey Seaman has made you a presenter, test your audio and video settings. So now it's asking to test, it's same thing. I, and then it says start presenting. And then now this person has the ability to be a part of it. And there he is right down there. So that's the second Casey, quote unquote. Uh, the other person. And now that attendee has moved up to presenter. So the cool thing is you can have multiple people join the room, up to four people, and it would look like essentially in a block. So it would be one person, two people, three, and then four all at the same time within the webinar itself. And in fact, if you want to kind of know what it looks like, here's a, a good picture uh, we because we just had our app go into the app store. This is what it looks like on your iPhone. Um, these four people when they're talking, that's how it looks. And again, that's how it's going to look inside here. There's one, two, three, four when you're watching from your desktop. Now, a couple other things that are cool, you can have offers sent out during the event. Now, look, it says no offers found. Click here to create offer and press refresh after you're done creating the offer. So you can actually go back into your system 
and create the offers, okay, for your webinar. Now this takes me back into the webinar I already created, but I need to go into the event page to build the offers out. So if I go in and I create an offer, I call this offer, get my free PDF. And now I go, get my free PDF below. Okay, this is the title internally, and this is what is gonna show be, be shown above the PDF, and this is an HTML editor, so you can do all sorts of cool stuff, like add a bold, different colors, uh, make it, you know, let's say red, and then you can select your button, which might be uh, download now, like, right? And then you can have your PDF, okay? Um, you can add a PDF here, um, and, and then people can uh, download it. Now, I'm not gonna add a PDF right now, I'm just gonna add that link. Now, you can also add, enable a countdown for it as well, which is gonna show a countdown um, uh, while it's available. So let's say I only wanna make this available for six minutes, that's what it's gonna show. Now, another cool thing is that you can actually show and, and see who takes action on this. It's not just one thing that you can push an offer or PDF or question out, but you can actually track people's actions and when they see it, if they see it, if they click. And that way you know how engaged they are. Um, and if, let's say you're doing internal training, this will allow you to really see if people are uh, coming and consuming your uh, certification programs and things like that. So I'm gonna integrate this with my Infusionsoft platform because I'm an Infusionsoft user and that's a, it's a CRM system. So I can create a tag that will say saw the offer but didn't click. So I could say saw, I would create a tag that says, you know, saw PDF but didn't click and I would say then saw PDF and clicked, okay? Um, and that's how I would tag it. So then I can follow up with them with follow-up emails and really understand, you know, who was watching what, okay? All right, so that's an offer. I can make another one. This one is going to be my uh, get access now to easy webinar. And I'm gonna put get, get access now. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna customize uh, a button. I'm gonna make my own, okay? Really simple, get access now. There, I just made my own button and I put the URL for where this is going to be sent, okay? I can, again, have a countdown. You can create the tags for the offer. You could change the background color, the text of the button, all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm gonna save that now that I built that out. I'm gonna click Save and Publish. I'm gonna go now back into my webinar that is live, as you can see right here, it's still live, right? I'm gonna click Refresh here, and now I can go in and see that I have offers. Here's my first offer. I'm gonna broadcast that to the people watching my webinar, and this is what it's gonna look like from the point of view of a participant, right? Oh, I can get access now. So you go in, it takes you to Easy Webinar right here, right? Um, let's go back over here. Now I can remove the offer, and of course it's gonna remove the offer from the participants who are watching. And you can also chat with everyone. So, hey there, everyone, how are you, right? And I can send emojis, and they, in turn, can send it back. Hey Casey, this looks great. And that's effectively how you can use the live engine for Easy Webinar. Now I can always end the broadcast by clicking end broadcast. Yes, end now. And this is what it's gonna look like from the person watching. Thanks for attending this event. So now I, I, it's ended my event. I can go back to my dashboard and then I can look at all the analytics from what happened during the webinar. So I see one person visited, two people registered, two showed, one watched and no one came through to the replay yet because we never set one up in the first place, right? So that's how you use the live engine. Now, there's also a way that you can use YouTube Live and we have training that will show you how to do that inside the platform. But now what I wanna do is actually go in, I'm going to show you how you can easily do 
a live webinar and now turn it into an automated webinar. So all you have to do is toggle it over to Evergreen. And by the way, you can always start a new webinar as either Evergreen or live, or you can repurpose one that you've already done and turn it into an Evergreen webinar. So now I'm gonna take what was live, turn it into an Evergreen webinar. I'm gonna stream it. Remember, I can stream it as a one-time event in my own time zone. So I can stream it in Pacific Standard and it will stream essentially, if you notice this guys, I'm gonna stream it yet, uh, allow registration for ongoing events. I'm going to make it for 10.30 p.m. And if I click save and publish, oh yeah, I have to add in a video because this is not the pre-recorded video. This is not the live webinar. You actually have to put a video in here. So we'll, we'll finish this up. So um, I'm gonna stream it as a one-time event at 10.30, that's in about 25 minutes. I'm gonna choose um, a funnel that I wanna use. I'm gonna use this, this particular um, theme. I'm gonna add my presenter information. You can add your name, presenter URL, and you can upload an image, okay, um, that you may have already. So I like to use that, um, save, right? That's my image now I'm using. I can put um, anything in the, in the, in the um, footer, uh, actually, this is the presenter description right there. You can also add another presenter, okay, um, if you want. You don't have to. And then you can start building out the pages. So the registration page, the headline, subheadline, if you have a description for it, um, and that's pretty much it. You can also have a footer text. You could choose to collect phone and Skype through the registration page, right? You can also customize the theme. So you can add like a logo in here, right here and have that at the top of your event. You can also change any text that you want um, happening on the, uh, the event, uh, the, the registration page itself. Now I go from there to the thank you page and on the thank you page, we also have some cool stuff. We have a feature called the social share incentive where people can actually share news to unlock a free gift. So this means that people, you can get, uh, more people registered to your webinar because they're sharing it in the social platforms. And I'm gonna share with you how that works. Okay, in a minute here. Now the event page. Uh, the event page is where your, your pre-recorded event is gonna be played. Now remember, when you do a live webinar, you don't have to set any of this stuff up. You just go, go, go. But when you're doing an automated webinar, remember that the automated webinar needs a, a video in there. So, you know, even if you don't put a headline or subheadline, you need to either uh, grab a YouTube URL because our system, the cool thing about Easy Webinar is that you can take YouTube videos, you could take Amazon S3 videos, and so on and so forth, and add it to the platform. Uh, so if we take this video right here. Hi, I'm Carly Kloss, and today I'm gonna show you how- Take that and we put it in over inside of easy webinar right there and we're going to pop it right there and this video you know we have to look at the time of the video how long it is so let's see it's uh one minute and one second it's not a very long webinar typically you're going to probably put a webinar in here that's you know 40 minutes long or something right now do you want to redirect attendees after the webinar is over yeah i'm going to put this to send to my sales page or offer page. Do you want to have a chat box on here? Yeah. So I'm going to actually add the contact box and essentially it's going to allow people to ask questions and it will be sending emails directly to this email. Uh, and I can then respond to them. Do you want to show attendees on the page? Um, this is up to you. If you want to do this, I like to have this off. I like to not show attendees on the page when I'm doing automated webinars. I like to just, uh, keep it pretty clear and, um, and clean. Okay. Um, so that's what we've done here with the event page. Now we can also build out a replay page if we wanted to, a replay page can be essentially a, a page that's not expiring. It can actually expire uh, on evergreen, meaning that let's say three days after the webinar is over, it, it can expire. Um, or you can have specific days when your event expires. Let's say you want it to expire on Friday. If you're doing a live webinar, you know, you may want to expire your webinar. So you can have that set. 
you can actually show a countdown on the replay page. Um, it will count down before the event, you know, wh while the uh, replay page is available and when it's going to go away. And then you can have a redirect from the replay page as well. Now, you may just want to have this as no expiration, but if you want to create, you know, an expiration on it, if you're doing like a webinar promotion that's live, perfect. If you're doing an automated webinar, you may want to have an evergreen sequence where you uh, expire the replay page three days after automatically the webinar, okay? And then you build out notifications around it. Now, while on this page, there's two things you can do. You can just have a replica of your event that you've already done or build out a custom replay page. This means that you would create something that's maybe even shorter than the existing replay page uh, of the existing event that was already done. So, but I'm actually gonna keep it as main event replica. And then you gonna move over to event notifications. And this is where you can actually build out um, all the notifications. So you can build out welcome emails, um, before the before event notifications. Uh, and then you can build out after event notifications, okay? So if you wanted to turn this on, you'd have this on right here. Uh, you'd select one of our templates and you could fill it in and it's the welcome email. You just say, hey, thanks for registering. Thanks for registering, right? And then you can build it out. Um, and then you can have your before event notifications that can be sent out at specific times. So let's say, you know, you're blocking a webinar by two days. So maybe you want to have your first, uh, notification, like, like, let's say you set up a webinar four days in advance. Well, you maybe want your notifications to go out two days before your event. So you can say like your event starts in two days, right? Now, the cool thing is, let's say someone registers uh, one day before your event. Well, don't worry, they're not gonna get the two-day event email, okay? That's not how the system works. It dy net dynamically sends the email based on when someone registered, okay? And you can build out more by hitting this green plus sign, and you can start building out your one day before event, okay? And now your other event that might be, let's say, uh, one hour before, hour before the event starts, right? And you click one hour, okay? And you can choose our templates or even a blank template right here, and then use the short codes that you see up here where you can have the name of the attendee, the webinar topic, presenter name, webinar link, et cetera, et cetera, right? Pretty cool stuff. Now, you can also then add after event notifications, and this is where it will have uh, replay information. Okay. So it will roll in the replay. Okay. So you can have, let's say five, four hours after the live event, you can say the replay, but only for a short period of time. Okay. You can make another one. And just to be aware that this is based on how many hours after the event should you send notification to. So now that one was four hours after. I'm gonna do this one at 12 hours. Uh, actually 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours later um, from the webinar because that will be, you know, essentially 12 hours from when I sent the replay link. So I'll say something like the uh, replay expires in two days because technically it does, I set it to three days. So then I would make uh, the next session, the next email going out, let's say uh, one day and 16, 16 hours. And that's when the next one comes out, right? And you'll say like one day before the replay expires. Okay, I think you get the drift of this and you keep going until you know the replay is going to expire and that's how you set up the event notifications now the event integrations where you select your autoresponder and we have deep deep integrations with all of the best autoresponders out there from a webinar and active campaign constant contact git response eye contact mailchimp entreport infusionsoft drip convert kit and then you can add your custom coding in for any autoresponder that we're not showing here. And this is essentially how you build your email list. You 
add people to a webinar within Easy Webinar, but you can also add them into your favorite autoresponders at the same time, okay? So if I have my Infusionsoft set up, I would then create cool, what we call universal tags all around this. So uh, for this particular webinar, I can uh, see who's uh, registered. So I, find, I create a tag inside Infusionsoft for registering for this specific webinar. Uh, if they came to the webinar, I can say came to webinar or showed. Uh, uh, let's say did not come would be no show. Okay, and I can choose to, see, to, to use any of the tags that I want here. You don't even need to use all of them. You could just use registered and no-show if you wanted to, and then that would create tags in the platforms that you're using, uh, the autoresponders that you're using, to where then you can create email segmentation based on the actions provided. Pretty cool stuff. And then finally, uh, advanced options. You can add third-party chat. You have SEO settings where you can uh, do browser title, meta keywords, and meta description for all the pages. You can rename the page URLs because our system doesn't really make them all that beautiful. But if you click edit, you can actually change like, like let's say 38 to something else, right? And so it gives you the ability to, to actually tweak those. Now you wanna do that before you send these links out because once they're out, uh, that's it. So you got to make sure you don't change the URL structure uh, after you've already started promoting the webinar. And then finally, you can go into our replay, our countdown page and actually uh, edit this up as well and make it more inviting if you wanted to. Okay, so now I'm going to click Save and Publish. Looks like I haven't set the offer time. So with the offer, here's the other cool thing. We'll, we will tell you what you're not doing right. So I'm going to actually have my free PDF going out at, let's say, full five seconds in and ending at, uh, let's say, 45 seconds, okay? I can then have my next one, my another offer, come in at, uh, let's say, eight seconds and leave at 30 seconds. So yes, I'm overlapping my offers. It's pretty cool stuff. You can do this, okay? Uh, and now what I'm going to do is click Save and Publish. All right, now it's saving and publishing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just share with you like what it looks like um, at from a, uh, someone who's registering, okay? A registrant's perspective on what this looks like. So now, again, remember... Uh, we really didn't build this out a lot, but this is what it kind of looks like with what we did. Now, I would make this, of course, a little shorter, add all the bullet points, and add my description, and so on and so forth. But this is kind of what it looks like right now. I'm just going to go in and add my info here. Again, I did not really do anything with this webinar, uh, but this is what it can look like like this. Here is the URL for the countdown. So it's going to count down to the event here. And while it's counting down, um, I can actually see, if I want to know what the event's going to look like, I can actually go into the replay and get a clear idea as to how this event's going to look. So here's what it's going to look like um, when it goes live. So now... Well, how long has, has, have you had severe pain? For two bring years. Bring that down. So now you can see two uh, offers are going in because remember, I had two offers starting. And here's the question box. So um, this one is going to go away in 22 seconds, of course, and this one's still going to be here. And then I can ask questions um, that are happening during the webinar. Hi there. And this would be submitted to me because I made uh, my email the one that I wanted to get notified on. So now, as you can see, now that ended. Now this one is going to end. But if it didn't, I could easily click here to get access to it. But now it's going to also end itself as well. So there we go. Both are now gone officially, and now um, it's just the video that is pre-recorded and, and then uh, the comment. Now, this is the replay page. On the live page, when you're actually coming to a live webinar that is, um, when I say live, again, an automated webinar streams the event in real time. So live stream, but it's not you there live, okay? It's, it's just playing live. So if you refresh the page, it will still be playing 
live. So what I'm going to do is actually now show you how this can work um, when you are uh, doing something like this using. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you in a different way uh, from a different um, registration page, so you can kind of get a feel for how this works. So hold on one second. Let's dive in. Uh, let's actually go into this page right here. Now this is just uh, a page that we built out. We don't really use this page all that much, but this is just great to share with a template. So now, if you, I want you to take a close look. I what I'm what I have here is I have a 10:30 p.m. time and it's 10:17. This is my right on time slot, and then these two are my other slots that I that I chose. So, so this is what it's actually going to look like inside of Easy Webinar when you're building it out. So let me just go into the Tribe Minded. So um, I have my in time registration. Okay, it's doing it in 15 minute increments. And guys, you can do it in 30, 45, or one hour. So depending on when someone gets there, you know, if they get there at 12, 10, 18, and you selected 30 minutes, it's gonna, the next one is going to be, I think, uh, 10, 30. But if you, uh, but then after that, it would only be 11, okay, that they'd be able to, to come in. So as you can see, I have my in-time registration. I, um, I also then go down here to number of schedules to display. And remember, um, I said that you can have multiple schedules. So this is where you add your schedule. So I have a 2 p.m., a 7 p.m. I can actually add something like a 10, uh, 10 a.m., right? And it doesn't matter the order that you put these in, but you can add that. And But you can then say how many events you want to display on the registration page. Now, right now, I show three. So it's going to show the in-time registration and then the next two available times based on my own time. Because right now it's 10.30 or 10.19 at night. The next two are going to show tomorrow at, let's say, 10 a.m. and then 2, Okay. Now, if I only showed, asked to show two, it would be uh, the just in time. So it would show the 1030 um, and it would show the 10 a.m. for tomorrow. Now, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is actually show all four. Okay. But actually, no, let's, let's do that. Let's prove that it does that. So next two available schedules. Now we're going to click uh, save and publish. It's now going to show the just in time uh, or the right on time event. And let's just refresh this page so you can get a clear idea. Right, so there it is. There's the time that's starting now, and or in, you know at 10:30, and this is the next available time, which is at 10 a.m. This is how it works. If the, if this makes sense. All right, now there's a couple other scenarios that you can do with automated webinars, which I just want to quickly flag up. Let's say I only wanted to make. Let's say I didn't want the drop-down menu here, okay, at all. Well, I could still set up three different time slots but only display one available schedule, okay? Now, if I do that, then, the, and I have the just-in-time selected or the in-time registration selected, there's really no point to create this over here because it's always going to be the next, the, the one available schedule, which will be starting probably in the next 15-minute increment anyway. Um, so if I click Save and Publish, what this is gonna show, if we refresh this page, it's only gonna show the next available time, which is starting in literally eight minutes, as you can see right there, right? And so this gives you the ability to stream this out in uh, right on time um, with the look and feel of live. And if we were to register for this event, we could put Casey, Casey uh, Zeman at gmail.com. We register for the webinar. There, here's what the webinar uh, theme looks like. It comes to a thank you page on the thank you page. All right, can video. Um, inside the video, I tell people what they can do. Uh, you can share news to your Gmail accounts, so it'll automatically add the new, uh, a custom, you know, uh, unique URL for the attendee right into uh, right into an email. Um, you can also then add people to your. Uh, oh, I already said that. Add people to your can calendar. But one other thing you can do is share news of the gift of the uh, share news of the webinar to unlock a free gift. So let me quickly show you how this works. So you click save and it will like the page and send that off to Facebook. And then it opens up your free gift. So there we have now our, our free additional gift, which is our client mastery blueprint, right? 
And this is great because th this particular webinar that we're registered for that's going to go live in seven minutes is a consulting webinar. It's pretty cool stuff. Now, he, as I said, this is the URL where people come and this will take them directly into the webinar uh, uh, room. This is this will take them to a countdown page, which will look like which looks like this. Let me just show you. Here's the countdown page. It looks pretty similar to the thank you page. And the event is going to push in in seven minutes. That's how this works, right? In seven minutes, the event is going to be starting. Okay, and, and in that time, I've gotten emails and things like that. So that's that's how the system works and looks when you're doing it from the point of view of uh, someone attending, right? That's how it looks. Now, a couple of things I want you to be aware of. We have tutorials and training over at Easy Webinar Support. It's support.easywebinar.com, and you can join our knowledge base. We have tons of awesome training in there, even from getting started all the way to email integrations, to adding Facebook pixels, to creating custom registration pages or adding what we have known as a widget, a registration box that can literally go into any page builder such as Optimize Press or ClickFunnels or lead pages. So a lot of people who use page building softwares, they like the ability for them to still use those platforms. If you use Instapages or any of these other platforms, what Easy Webinar can do is we have a publishing option, which is a widget. And this widget you can essentially put on any particular page that you want, okay? And it will then have the ability for people to register for that event. It's pretty cool stuff. Works really well, and I definitely re recommend you using it if you want to start using your own, let's say, pages um, for your webinar. Uh, let's see, an example of this would be, let's go with uh, podcast, uh, master class workshop. Let's see here. It is right here. So an example of this is me just going into John Lee Dumas's uh, page. He's using uh, easy webinar. Now this is going to show kind of a basic idea of how this widget works, but you add the iframe and you can put it into a page like this, uh, where then uh, it adds this box. And then you can of course register and use your same pages that you've been using uh, while also using our our registration widget. And now it comes Hello. to this particular page and John has his video. Um, he tells about his masterclass and here's the URL to join the webinar which starts in 15 hours, okay? So that's how that works. So it's very cool stuff. Uh, he of course also has his um, uh, incentive down here. You can download the podcast PDF right here, right? Very cool, and that's how that's how this works. So, uh, so again, as I said, you have Evergreen and Live. The tutorials are over here. Uh, if you need to uh, get to support directly, you can actually click support, and will allow you to ask a question. So you can actually put in a question into Easy Webinar directly. And then finally, you should know about your account. So if you go to your profile, this will give you all the data of your username, first name, last name, your email. Um, we also create a subdomain for you because of course we host everything. So here's the my subdomain name and I can of course edit this, but if you edit it after you've built it, none of the links are gonna work after that. So just make sure if you are going to change the subdomain that you go in and, and tweak your webinars. Okay, here are the integrations. Now, as you can see, I, I already set up my integrations. Uh, again, ConvertKit, Drip, MailChimp, iContact, GetResponse, Constant Contact, AWeber, ActiveCampaign, Entreport, Infusionsoft, SendGrid. These are all platforms that integrate with EasyWebinar um, to where you can build your email list while at the same time um, signing people up and then doing things like segmenting your follow-up sequence uh, based on actions performed during the webinar, okay? Here are some tutorials. Again, here's the, here's the tutorial link going back to the tutorial area. Uh, we also have a plugin. So if you are using WordPress and you want to add Easy Webinar to uh, your WordPress site, you can download the plugin, take the activation key, and add it to your WordPress site. Okay, uh, we, really robust stuff. So you can actually stream out automated webinars from your WordPress site, and you can stream um, 
live YouTube live sessions from your own website. But for using our built-in live engine, you have to use our hosted version. So the plugin only works for mostly automated webinars, not necessarily for live. Um, and then you can, of course, look at your subscription to know what exactly you have as well. So I hope this, this particular video, these videos were helpful for you. I hope it cleared up what exactly you can do with Easy Webinar. We have customers that use Easy Webinar all the time for running live webinars and automated webinars. They run live Q and A's. We have people that are artists, uh, authors, uh, coaches and consultants, people that are in the wealth and health niche, people that are, um, that are uh, c cooks, and people that are in every single niche. People that we have schools using the platform. And, uh, and the idea of it is that we are the one-stop shop, the place where you can do both live and automated webinars. Um, and that's it. We just wanted to be the one tool that you need to get everything done in your business as it relates to webinars themselves, okay? And if there are any questions, if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to me at, at Casey Zeman on Instagram, at Casey Zeman on Facebook. You can also go to support.easywebinar.com to get more information there as well. So right now, we're at 22 seconds left. This is, I feel like, you know, we've been like holding a plank for this long. So um, we have 15 seconds, 14 seconds, 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, five, four, three, two, one. And what's gonna happen is now this page is gonna redirect into the event page right here. And there it is right there. This is what the event looks like. If you notice, I can't pause it. I can't do anything like that. I can make it full screen, but that's it. And check it out, watch this. If I refresh the page, you see, it's not playing from the beginning. It, it's playing in real time, right? So it has this wonderful experience where it's, it's actually streamed live. Uh, and it's important for you to know that it's streamed live because this really gives it that real-time effect to it, uh, which is helpful to have the experience that people need in a webinar. So again, a great way to use the power of webinars in your business the goal for us to create Easy Webinar was to give you more leverage in your life from doing live webinars and then even more leverage by creating high converting automated webinars from different funnels. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for your time, your energy, and I will be connecting with you soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.